Iranians have launched Shahid-136 drones uh, that fly at about 115 miles an hour, 110 pounds. They launch uh, hundreds of them at a time to try to overwhelm Israeli air defense systems. Uh, and Dan Perry is in Tel Aviv. He used to run Middle East coverage for the Associated Press. Dan, uh, you and I, uh, in our time in the Middle East together, we would always talk about this coming Israel-Iran war. Are we here? Well, we've certainly been expecting it for really over a decade. Um, I think much depends on the amount of success the Iranians experienced tonight. You know, uh, some people speculate that Hamas was surprised by their degree of success on October 7th, and maybe it was too much, and that caused the blister and counterattack that has us where we are six months later. My sense is the Iranians wanted to uh, uh, avenge the death of their senior commander in the consulate in Damascus. Uh, felt that they had been pushed too far uh, and, and needed to make a stand, but don't really want to cause enough damage to uh, to, to force Israel uh, to counterattack. And Israel has a lot of levers that it can use if it does counterattack. I think it's quite extraordinary that Iran put out, or at least the Iranian uh, UN mission put out uh, a tweet before even the first a drone reached Israel, saying from their perspective it's all it's all done and dusted, and the matter can be considered concluded. They're almost they're almost begging not to be counterattacked. So I have to kind of think they're hoping that Israel and, and the U.S. Uh, knock down these drones. But of course, a lot of things can go terribly wrong when you have hundreds of drones uh, uh, launched at uh, what appear to be military sites in the Golan Heights and in southern Israel mostly, although I can't guarantee yeah, that it won't Israel, be. Israel Channel 12 before. just now in the past couple of minutes reporting senior Israeli official, very significant retaliation um, to come, Dan. Just from where you are in Tel Aviv, yeah, uh, are we? Are you starting to hear uh, the sirens? I am not hearing sirens. Uh, in okay. fact, I I'm, I'm watching a TV as as you are, and I see that they say that there have been hits, there have been hits, but uh, that no casualties have been reported. I also see a senior official. I don't know who that is, talking about significant uh, uh, retaliation. And look, I heard what you said early in the broadcast, and there is a scenario. That certainly involves the many thousands of American troops and all across the region. Uh, if Israel feels that it can't let this stand, then I, I, among the things that are possible are for Israel to strike at Iranian oil platforms in the Gulf. And I don't have to tell you that the U.S. has major military presence all over the Gulf, and in particular in Qatar, which is also close to Iran. It's a it's a very complex puzzle, and it could easily go south rather quickly. Yeah, the, the number of ways that this could go pear-shaped right now in the opening hours of this are sort of incredible. The, the, the off-ramp yeah. that Iran talks about is uh, laughable, but you understand why they want it. Um, you think about what they fired, the Shahid-136 drones, 110-pound war, warhead. They traveled about 120 miles an hour. Um, to overwhelm Israeli air defenses. What do you make of how well telegraphed this has been? I mean, we knew this was coming all day. The Israelis have known this has been coming for a week and have been ramping up for it. It's extremely unusual. You know, the Iranians generally take pride in having a different culture where uh, they don't uh, react immediately at a time that is convenient to their rival, uh, but bide their time and, and pick their battles. And, and they're quite proud of this. So it was a little bit bizarre that they, from the beginning, made rather clear and, uh, and and were at least discovered by U.S. and Israeli intelligence to be planning a, a dramatic uh, counterstrike. Look, the, the assassination in Damascus wasn't uh, the only thing. I mean, and they have, weirdly, despite being uh, an unpopular regime in Iran, they've come under some domestic pressure to, uh, to do something uh, for national pride. I, it, I, I think from their perspective, which is a different one from the Western mindset, they felt they had to do something. I sense yeah. they're trying to calibrate. That said, for a country trying to calibrate, they might have overplayed their hand because I challenge you to come up with an example in recent history, indeed in history, of uh, a country, never mind a country in the democratic West, facing a concerted and telegraphed attack by hundreds of missiles and drones. Uh, it doesn't happen every day.